Uh, first of all, I'm sorry for like how you guys feel. Like, I don't know how many teammates are in the chat right now, but even if you're not a teammate, even like anybody leaving from Myth is, I think, sad to see. And especially because we just had our anniversary. And I think people were like, oh, let's go, you know, just like in a good feeling. <sighs> when it comes to Myth. To be honest, when, when we decided on the hashtag, for the anniversary life i was like i was like myth forever really like i don't know like yeah myth forever but like people don't know that Amma's gonna announce her like departure so how is it myth forever like i was kind of <laughs> like personally like i'm I'm, I, I don't know, maybe I'm taking this the, the most dramatically uh, out of all of us. Like, I'm like, yeah, you, 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 yeah, like, yeah, like, me too. Like, I'm like, this is not me forever. <laughs> I was really dreading this. I knew that, I knew it, ha we all knew, like, right? It had to happen one day that somebody leaves. I, did, I didn't ever expect for any of us to stay that long in the beginning. I think we all didn't expect to stay this long because like it was hard to even like imagine how it was gonna go because there was nothing before us in terms of EN so honestly four years is more than I expected and and like more than I can ask from anyone to invest into this i guess because life life goes on and maybe you want to do other things four years is a long time and it's totally understandable in my opinion if you want to do something else at that point ever since she first told us which is a long time ago at this point i felt like you know, I kind of became quite an Ame Gosling, a teammate, number one teammate, number one Ame Gosling. I'm a big fan of her, not just uh, a gen mate. Um, so when I heard it, of course, I was like, no, 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 please. But her reasonings that she told me and everything, it just made sense. And I'll accept and respect it. I, I, I guess I'll support it. <laughs> <laughs> this is one thing I want to make very clear going forward. I don't want anybody to ever like like blame her or anything. There's no blame on her. She, she it's her choice and and somebody had to leave first and um don't don't blame her, you know. When I first heard it, I was shocked, but I I of course I understood and I think about the future a lot. I'm probably overthinking everything a lot. I always do. I'm leaving is kind of the end of an era, right? I feel like that's something really hard for us to then overcome. So I'm, I'm kind of scared of the future because I want people to have fun when they watch us and I don't know be lighthearted or whatever and if we're not complete like surely time will like make it better but mm, you know I'm a little bit like torn because I I think the same thing that you're saying that myth will always be five and myth forever and you know I'm is absolutely irreplaceable I think the same things and then I think about the future like for like future anniversaries like are people like always gonna be saying oh if only Ame was here like oh this would be better if Ame was here and then I feel like how am I ever gonna satisfy people ever again no matter how how hard uh, I work you know like I'm torn between these thoughts so I think for now we can 100% say Nothing is the same without Ame because it's not. But at the same time, we can cope with like, it's not like a usual graduation. It's uh, what, what did they call it again? 
end of activities or something like that. It's like there's a little... There's a door that's closed, but it's not locked, I guess. But uh, that's, it, you know, it depends on the company and on Ame, like when and how they want to open it again. So we'll see. Like, hasn't been done before, so we'll see. But I knew about this for a long time, so it's been in the back of my mind for a long time. And it's also the reason why um, I organized... Um, the myth one block <laughs> because I I wanna like more projects together with all five of us <laughs> before we didn't have a chance for it anymore and also you know I love Ame but th this was also a reason why I called dibs on Chikutak <laughs> and it's also the reason why I didn't want to participate in GTA this week because I knew it was coming. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ame, I can't not be sad. <laughs> I guess it's ironic because now she's participating in GTA. <laughs> but I don't think I want... I, I, it didn't feel right to me. I, I'm always like, when there's something like this happening and I'm like looking at the waiting room of the, the stream and then all the fans are like oh god it can't be real and like no don't don't worry like it's don't think of the worst and the other fans are like no panic panic and I'm I'm just thinking oh my god I feel so bad for all the fans because like the people who are in the waiting room there waiting for something they're like big fans of the person and, and i i feel bad for like the feelings that they're about to experience <sighs> it hurts me every time i'm like i'm sorry guys i'm sorry i don't think anything can hit harder for me than a uh, myth graduation and Ame especially hits hard for me because I love Ame <laughs> and we mm, she always helped me I went back all the way in our discord conversations I went back all the way to the very beginning I scrolled back four years and I looked at what what we talked about in the beginning and I uh, generally I was just asking her to download vectors for me like 10 vectors per day <laughs> <laughs> but there was also a thing where like three days or so after debut I was like absolutely devastated apparently for some reason like I was sad and uh, she could hear it in, in voice chat and um, she asked me like oh what's up what's wrong are you okay you sounded sad and then I opened up my heart to her but back then I don't think we were really like connected that much at all yet so that was just like three days after debut or so but she reached out to me and oh that was sweet and made me cry when i read it again <laughs> ame made so many things for us happen and she helped me so much in the beginning too and she's so cute and she's so <laughs> talented and funny I love her and I don't want her to go, but I have to respect it and she's going and that's okay. Um, I'm just grateful that she did this for so long anyway and that she made Myth into what it is. I feel like I suggested something like this because I, I used to be a big fan of an, a Japanese idol company. Hello Project, you know, and there's obviously always graduations there too, but there's this group, Morning Musume especially, but they did it with all groups. Um, in Morning Musume, they, they kept on graduating older members and then they put in new members so that the group lives on forever and ever. 
but it was always so cool to see in concerts. Sometimes the older graduated members who were already like 40 or something and with kids and everything, <laughs> they would sometimes show up at, uh, for like big reunion concerts and stuff. Not always, but sometimes. It would be cool if we can do this like like fans will be so happy to see someone again and it, w it would be just so hype to <laughs> to have graduated members come back for some special moment and then and then combine them with the newer ones who maybe haven't even met each other yet you know and then you see how the legacy goes on and gets carried on and and then you see songs old songs performed by new members who weren't in the original lineup and then they sing it together with the old members who were in the original lineup and stuff like that it's it's just uh, really really special and that's how i hope that they want to do it i don't know what they're really thinking i wouldn't expect her to show up in every single concert or so you know or anywhere at all don't have any don't don't think you know i'm not gonna make promises <laughs> i'm not i'm not the one who decides it uh i feel like that would be cool i'm here with her kids <laughs> you mean her dogs and cats <laughs> maybe kfp gets worried about me i will say that i i don't have any graduation plans as of now i have a lot of frustrations pent up that make me think about it a lot but I, I i'm i'm definitely staying because i still want to do a lot of things and accomplish a lot of things and fight for like things that i am i feel i deserve so don't worry about me but it is a nice reminder that you should always cherish the time with your or she's <laughs> one thing i will try is when ame is, is you know not there to go the ame way anymore i shall continue her legacy with the ame way i shall do my best i have like you know kiara way is kind of similar to ame way sometimes i i have similarities to it <laughs> so i will embrace her spirit and do things the I'm away stubbornly. Mm. Ah, the I'm away. <laughs>